What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Malcolm Eugene. And well, I'm stuck inside the house like pretty much everybody in the world. So best time to be productive, I guess. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make an amazing LUT from a photograph. So we're gonna show you how to do this in Photoshop and Premiere. So let's just jump into it right after this. Let's get into making these LUTs. We're gonna first find the photos we're gonna use. We're gonna choose this photo here to make our LUT from, which is a nice little cosplay composite I did uh, with my friend on my Sophie. She's amazing, go follow her. Do what I do as I say. Anyways, I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna bring that into Photoshop here. Open it up, boom. That's the photo we're gonna grade from. Then you go into Premiere and you're gonna wanna find uh, and a clip to where you would want to sample or make your, your adjustments on. So how to do that is you're gonna wanna make a screenshot of that, click your little camera icon, um, find a folder you wanna save it to, already did it, hit okay, then you go and grab your screen grab. Already made a folder here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to grab, let's see, Let's grab this screen grab here. I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. Over up here, it's my buddy Thomas and my buddy Tony and his girl. Um, videographers that I've shot with over the years, amazing people. Make sure to go follow Aspire the Empire, do as I say. Anyways, this is the photo that we're gonna be putting our effects on to kind of make the LUT. So, from this photo here, you're gonna wanna do the first thing, which is go up to File, Export, Save for Web. From here, it's gonna look pretty intimidating, but what you wanna do is here in the color reduction algorithm box, you gonna to wanna to change that from selective to custom. Then in the colors tab, you wanna change that from 256 to three. And this is where you're gonna get your main tones for the entire image. So from there, color palette menu, select that. You wanna save your color table. Find the folder you wanna save your color table to, which I have here. We're gonna call this Apaca. Nope, not gonna call it that because I can't, I don't feel like spelling anything today. We're just gonna try call this um, end of the world LUT. Or end of the world, there, end of the world. It just seems very, very appropriate with how the world is going nowadays. So yeah, end of the world, and it's being saved as an Adobe color table. So we're just gonna save that. From that, you can just cancel there. We're gonna go to our image that we wanna put our effects on, which is this image here. And we're gonna open up our swatches panel here. And if you don't see that, you just go up the window here. You just go up the window here and you go down here to swatches and it should come up. I'm gonna actually bring this right out here. I'm gonna hit this little icon here because we wanna add a gradient map to this now. So adding gradient map, we got our gradient map there. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is go down to, or up to this menu here. We want to import our swatches. So as you see, there's nothing in your folder. Because you save it as a color table, you have to go down here and select color table, and now you have your end of the world color table there. We're gonna load those swatches. Give a little bit to think about it. I'm gonna close all these down. Open this one up, now you have that. I'm gonna double click the gradient here from my gradient map, and I'm gonna hit this little box right here. Selecting the color, I'm gonna move this out the way. We're gonna select the first color. Notice that. Take note of the brightness value. So our brightness here is 88. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna change our location now to 88. So now I'm gonna select this square here, go to color, and select the second color. Take noteness, or take noteness, <laughs> take notice of the brightness value there which is 34, hit okay. I'll type in 34. And for a third color, just gonna drag down new box. Select the third color. Brightness is 74, so I'm gonna hit okay here. Put in 74 here. And then hit okay. And I know what you're thinking. You're gonna be like, well, this looks like crap. This looks terrible. 
I understand, we're not done yet, bear with me. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to change my blend mode from normal to soft light. And boom, we're only halfway there. So yeah, it already looks pretty good. From flat to that, let's go. Anyways, let's go into our original image now. And now we're gonna do some tonal adjustments. So I'm gonna go add a new layer here. Then with my eyedropper tool selected, I'm gonna try to select the brightest part of the image, which may be this little part on her cheek right there. I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool. And I'm gonna just draw that on out. I'm gonna hit I and try to select the darkest part of the image. Which is gonna be that. Hit B for the brush tool and draw that out there. Next part, pay attention. I'm gonna select the background or the bottom layer of our original image. I'm gonna go up here to select color range. See it's set the mid-tone. This two is typically set on sampled colors, but we're gonna put it on mid-tones and make sure your fuzziness is set to zero. Hit okay. And make selection of your, of your mid-tones. You're gonna want to hit control J. What it's gonna do is it's gonna copy and paste those onto a whole new layer. So I'm going to disable the background layer. As you can see, your mid-tones are all there. So you're going to want to go up to filter, blur, and average. What this is going to do is get an average of all those tones there. So at that point, you're going to want to get your eyedropper tool, sample the color, go up to your, your layer with your, your paint strokes, hit B, Paint that right on there. Don't worry, don't worry about how it looks, it doesn't matter. So anyways, you now have your three colors, your highlights, your, 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 your mid-tones, and your shadows. So what you're gonna do, wanna do now is with the stroke layer selected, you're gonna wanna hit Control C, go to this image here, and then hit Control V to copy that, and holy moly, they're huge. Let's Control T that on down. All right, so now, let's hit V, you wanna go to your gradient map layer, then you wanna go down here, you wanna make a curves layer. So basically you're gonna be dealing with these three droppers here. This one's for your black levels, this one's for your mid-tones, this one's for your white levels. Uh, also, do note, make sure your icon is selected and not your mask or you're gonna have issues with how your colors are being selected. So I'm gonna double click the white layer gonna go here I'm gonna uh, hit the highlights here hit ok it's gonna ask you if you want to save as a default no you don't now you want to sample typically where your highlights would be which for an image like this it would really be hard to Let's say we're just gonna say it's the sky we're gonna do the same thing for the dark levels go here like that. No, we don't want to. Got that. Now the mid-tones. There, I think that's gonna be kind of the, the grade there. All right, so from there, I'm just gonna disable the stroke layer there. That's kind of our grade there. So your toning and the gradient map. So gradient map, then the tones. So now we wanna make a LUT from this. So go to file, export, color lookup table. What you're gonna notice is this little pop-up box is gonna come out saying there is no background and it's fine. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Select your bottom layer, which is gonna be your image. Go up to layer new background from layer and boom now you have a background so now if you go up to file export color lookup tables you can actually do this and so how i save mine i like to go with 64 high and then i used to save it as a cube format i hit okay now we can save this in my lut folder let's see if i can find it and we're going to call it end of the world and hit save. It's gonna do its thing, we're good. 
I'm gonna minimize this. We're gonna go back to Premiere. And let's go to our footage here. So make an adjustment layer or you can put it directly on the clip. It doesn't really matter. But now I'm gonna add that LUT onto this footage by Lumetri color panel, going down to the creative tab, going here to none, hitting browse. We're gonna create the end of a world LUT. We're gonna open that up. Let me put this back at 100 because this is what it looks like at 100%. And I would say it's pretty spot on. Let me open up the original file here. And it's, it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to the tones. I might turn it down just a little bit. So let's go to 65%. So 65%, let me open that up. Little minor grade, and you can see it really grades well with the daytime footage because it is a shot that was taken during the daytime. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, feel free to message me on any of my social platforms and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, with that said, my name is Malcolm Eugene. If you like this tour, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. And of course, if you'd like me to do any kind of other tutorials, please let me know. This is my first tutorial video, so please, you know, be nice. Actually, I don't care if you are nice because I almost fell, almost died. Anyways, I'm out. What's up, guys? Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm posting next.